So we're going to look at how to structure your thesis using section headings, how to insert a table of contents, and how to correctly paginate your thesis. Okay, so the first thing is if we look at these style options, these are really underused in Microsoft Word, but they're really useful. So let's look at the normal style first of all. So we can modify a style by right-clicking and selecting Modify. And then in the window that comes up, we can choose, well, how do we want all of the normal text to appear? So I'm going to choose a default font. I want it to be justified, and I want it to be one and a half line spacing. So that means now all of the text in the document that has that is attributed to the normal style will follow that default theme. It's very very useful. Okay, what about headings then? So again, we can modify our headings. So here I'm going to have the heading maybe one size bigger than the. Um, default font. I'm going to make it bold and um, line and a half spacing. And now what I can do is if I click where I want the heading and just click on the heading style. Now I've left, forgot to change the colour here so I'll just change that to black. And you see now this is a consistent theme for the heading level 1. I can do it for subsection headings as well. I'm going to call this heading 2. Again just right click, modify and style the heading appropriately. So this is going to be the same size as the font in bold. You see uh, subsection headings, all the letters are capitals. And finally, um, sub subsection headings, they'll be heading level 3. These have just the first word as a capital. So if I right click on um, style heading 3, modify and in this case it's the same size as the font it's bold and it's um, line and a half spacing great and you can number these appropriately so that's headings now the really useful thing about headings and normal is as well as ensuring a uniform style we can incorporate in the table of contents so to insert a table of contents we click on the references tab and choose Table of Contents. And the easiest thing is just to choose the um, option Insert Table of Contents. gives you the most control. So when we click on this, a dialog box comes up. Now the default is fine. It says to show page numbers, right align page numbers and so on. But if you did want to change anything, you can use the Options and Modify buttons. So Options would allow you to add an extra heading level, for example. Three is usually fine. And Modify would allow you to change the table of content template. OK, so if I cancel there, I've inserted the table of contents, press OK, and you see this automatic text comes up. And this um, lists the contents based on their level headings. So let's just change something now. If I insert a page break and move that onto the next page. And now if I go back to my table of contents, I want to update it. So if I right click on the table of contents, choose update field, and then choose update entire table, you'll see now the number correctly numbers two, because that section's on the next page. OK, so the next thing we'll look at in the, are uh, page numbers. Now page numbers are a little bit complicated because in the thesis there are two sections. There's the initial section that lists the abbreviations, acknowledgements, and so on. And these are paginated using Roman numerals. And then the, the main thesis itself is paginated using ordinary numbers. So if I insert here, click page numbers, and just choose bottom of page, and insert those there, I can now uh, format the page numbers by choosing the page number option. And here, because this is the start of the thesis, it's paginated using Roman numerals. So I choose those and press OK. But now I need some way of separating the this section from the rest of the thesis. So first of, all, first of all, I'm just going to do some formatting. So this is called Table of Contents. I'll give it Heading 1 Style. And now um, what I want to do now is um, insert a break between this section and the next section. So if I go back, go into the first page of the second section, see here it says Same as Previous. If I highlight that, 
uh, page number and unclick link to previous. What that means now is when I um, format the page numbers here, it doesn't affect the page numbers on the in the previous section. So see here I can say 1, whereas in the previous set page it still has the Roman numeral. And this is uh, caused by a section break. So before I update my table of contents I'll just insert a chapter title. This is usually on a page before the chapter itself. So again I'll insert a section break in the page layout tab. So the uh, next page break. So I've got a blank page there, page 1. And what I want to do now is just put in the chapter title, so let's just call it chapter 1. So if I type in chapter 1, and I'm going to give this um, title format. So I just choose title, and then I can modify this as before. So on modify, I just change this, so I change the colour. Uh, I can change the font back to the default font and I can center it and I can get rid of that annoying line that's underneath by clicking on the format button at the bottom of the window. So format uh, ta border it'll be and just say no border. So click on none and press OK. OK so now I have my chapter separated from the rest of the document by a section break and separated from the previous part of the document by a section break. So now if I right click and update my table we'll see the, the table updates accordingly. I've got the first part of the thesis with Roman numerals and the rest with uh, numerals. So there's some hints on how to structure your thesis.